We're working more developing news tonight, this time out of Pawtucket, where today the city announced the temporary closure of the Nathaniel Green Elementary School over safety concerns. It all stems from a ceiling collapse last week at the Potter Burns Elementary School, which is also shut down right now. And now action is being taken to make sure other schools throughout the city are safe. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Esteban joins us live from Pawtucket with the developing details. Well, that's right. We first told you about the Potter Burn School last week. That's where there was a ceiling collapse. Investigators or building investigators went into the other schools. Today, they found a similar problem in six classrooms at Nathaniel Green. That school shut down this morning. Now, school officials tell us they are still investigating at other schools. There's a possible there might be more closures, and they tell us safety is number one. This ceiling collapse last week at Potter Burns School is being considered a wake-up call by school administrators. It was a warning sign for all of us. The problem here led to concern at several of the same time period schools across the city. Do they have a ceiling system that is similar to Potter Burns? And if so, are those ceilings showing signs of aging? One additional school so far, Nathaniel Green, showed eight rooms with ceiling concerns and was immediately shut down on Wednesday. I want people to be sure we're not going to put kids' lives in danger. We've learned that inspections continue at a handful of other schools across the city and repair work at the two closed buildings is already underway. So how will the city pay for this? It's no secret that the school budget is not exactly at a surplus. They do tell us they will be seeking out bonds for that issue, but the simple fact is work does need to be done. The other question, they're already in school through June 26. Will students need to make up these days? I did ask the superintendent. She says they are submitting a request to be exempt from that, but have not heard back yet. Coming up at 6 o'clock, how do you fix this problem? Well, we will hear from those building inspectors. Live in Pawtucket with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.